Hello friends. Well, it's another miserable, dull and overcast day here in Wales. But then having said that, most days are like that in Wales, so there's nothing new. To brighten the day up, I have bought yet another vacuum cleaner. When I show it to you, you'll say to me, why? Why on earth have you, have you bought that? But there is method to my madness. So in this video, let's take it out of the box or just out of the bin liner and see what we've got. Now I don't think this unboxing is going to take too long. In fact, I think it's going to be a case of doing this. Yeah, it is. Because the person who I bought it off has just basically wrapped it in a bin liner and stuck it in the mail. And there we go. And now you're looking at it and going, oh my god, why? Why did you buy that? Well, as I say, there is method to this. There's method to my madness. Let me just um, get this all out of the way. Let's squeeze it into my cheek, lovely. Ah, there we go. So, at least we've got a machine in its original little box. I'm just turning off my fan heater for a second, because um, I haven't got the radiator on in this room. It's still quite cold here. Um, so I've got my 1963 Hoover fan heater down here, down here, um, keeping me nice and warm. It's quite funny really, isn't it? Because I'm using a fan heater that's decades old to keep myself warm to show you a vacuum cleaner that's a year old. Now, the difference in quality between this machine and this machine down here, even though they are both Hoover, is worlds apart. Worlds apart. So this is... A Hoover Enigma Evo. Um, yeah, it's called a hygienic bag. Uh, what does it say? Born innovative Enigma Evo hygienic bagged cleaning. Okay, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? And the reason I bought this is because I want to do um, a video where I show you um, a certain number of generations of Hoover upright cleaner. And this, this machine is, is the current model on sale, this um, Enigma Evo. So yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting showing you guys those machines. I haven't quite made up my mind how many yet, uh, but yeah, that video will be forthcoming at some point. So this video is just to take a look at this Evo, um, take it out of the box and uh, basically see what we've got here. It's quite nice that it's in the original box. I, I will say, the box is not in great shape, to be totally honest with you. It's got some, well, you can see that there, yeah, there's a like bit missing out of it. But, you know, having said that, it's the original box, which is nice. Um, looks like it's had a bit of a smack here. I turn it around, but there's a hole here on the box. It came by via Hermes, so whether or not it's still in one piece is anyone's guess. So I think what I'll do is I'll just pop it down here, and it, hmm. Well, this doesn't sound good, does it? Um, in fact, it's not even sealed. <laughs> the box isn't even sealed, so I think I can just literally just rip it open. Um, yeah, I can. There we go. Ah, get those muscles working. Okay, there's a bit of tape here. Oops, oh, I just pulled the flap off. <gasps> I ruined the box with a collectible vacuum cleaner. Now, the reason I bought this is because I just happened to be looking online at these cleaners, as you do, and um, they don't sell for, for very much money. When they're new, uh, they, they sell like a, an unbelievably low amount. You can actually buy them direct from Hoover for £50 with postage. But this one was listed as being um, what did they say? It was like, oh god, oh, ow, 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 it bit me, ah, <laughs> ow, you mother, that actually bit me, ah, sh you did it again, <laughs> so it's got an animal in here, um, it was listed as less than a year old, fully working, just needs a bag, um, and, and the cost of it was £30, with postage. So that's pretty good. So I've saved £20 if I bought a brand new one. Whether or not the gamble's paid off by doing that, I don't know, but we'll have a look. 
Ooh, dear me, that is very scratched. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, it's not too bad. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, there's no instructions or anything in the box. Uh, there's no polystyrene or anything like that. There's nothing to actually keep the machine uh, in place in the box. And it is, I can see where it's been rubbing against the box. Now, I've seen pictures where these cleaners, um, the black paint has just completely come off and you've just got like, white patches. And uh, I thought it may have happened to this one, but I think it's all right. I think it survived. If I just, um, hang on a minute, have I got a bit of, a bit of kitchen roll or something in my pocket? Yes, here we go. I'm just gonna yeah, do that. Like your mum used to do when you were a kid. If I just rub that over the front, it needs a it needs a clean and a polish. It actually, actually, I tell you what, it's not too bad. I don't know if you can see it. Oh God, there goes the handle. Um, if you can see it there, but it's not too bad. Um, it's it's weird. It's like it's rubbed right down the front of it. I think there's some polish, maybe a little bit of cutting compound and a bit of polish. I think that'll probably come up all right. Now, interestingly, a while ago, I can't remember what machine I did the, the video on, but um, one of my dear, dear viewers said, um, did you know that the, the current generation Hoover uprights have only got a 350 watt motor in them? And to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't know that at the time. And that kind of piqued my interest in them, really. So if I just have a look at the rating sticker, it's quite, this, this is quite interesting seeing this, because it, this is the first one I've seen, actually. Um, let me see, here we go. So, it's interesting, I don't know how you read the serial number on these. So the model number is PU31. Uh, yes, 350 watts, made in China, of course. Uh, oh, I reckon, I reckon this is the eighth week of 2019. So it's what, goodness, uh, it's almost three, actually. It's almost three years old. Well, it was made then, because the, the other numbers, so the number I'm looking at is 1908, which makes me think that it's the eighth week of 2019. The other set of four numbers is, is 0398. So that would either be, um, well, it can't be the 98th week of 2003. Um, and it can't be the third week of 1998, because this is far too new to be a 19, 1998 machine. So it, it must be early 2019. Yeah, that's what I would say. So I'm not sure the seller was being particularly accurate when they said that it's only a, a year old. That's, um, hmm, slight fibs there. But maybe they didn't know. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Now this hose is a bit weird. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think this, I think this uh, clip needs to come down. So let's pull that down. Let me sort this hose out. It is really cheap. It is really, really cheap. Um, yeah, I think the hose goes, I think it goes like that, actually. I think it's, it's something like that. It's quite a long hose, to be honest with you. I, I, I guess it, maybe it just flaps there, or does it go like, does it go like that? Does it go on the side like that, and maybe down there and around? I don't know, I think I think this is in the wrong place, this little clasp, um, but we'll leave it down there for now. It's, God. Yeah, it's not great, is it? It really is not, it's not good quality. I, mean, I know the hose goes like that. When you're meant to be using it for above, above floor cleaning, this little clasp goes down here um, and it stops the machine being pulled over. You can't pull it over on, pull it over so it doesn't fall away. Um, that's been there for many years. That was, that was there on the pure powers, but we'll leave it like that for now, it's fine. Um, interesting to see underneath. This is very different. This, this chassis section, it's quite, quite a lot of wear there too. It's very different to the earlier Pure Powers. Because this is all hard plastic now on these. Uh, oh, interesting. No, I, do you know, I wasn't expecting that kind of brush roll. I mean, I wasn't expecting an activator star brush roll, and I haven't got an 
activate, activated style brush roll. But what I was expecting was one of those really thin brush rolls. I've seen those on Pure Powers previously. That's not too bad. And it's got these like strips, they're rubber strips either side. I guess that's to, to do like a suction seal. Now really, if you were going to buy one of these new and you just wanted a vacuum cleaner, you know, you don't want anything special, you just want a vacuum cleaner that you can use to clean your house with, 50 quid, do you know what? That ain't bad at all. Um, post it to you as well, you know, they'll, 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 they'll post it to your door for 50 quid and you get a brand new vacuum cleaner. You can't, you can't moan at that, can you? I'm just going to pop the handle in there for now, I'm not going to screw it in yet, I'm just going to pop it in. So, yeah, I mean, I suppose for 30 quid, does the handle go down? Oh, God, that feels even cheaper than it previously was. My goodness me, that is quite something. Yeah, oh, it is really bad. Now, the Pure Powers that this is based on, they were never a robust cleaner by, by any means. But this really does feel very, very cheap. You see, this is really bugging me, this thing. Oh, a bit more. There we go, I think that's right. Let me turn it around so you can see it. There we go, I think, I think that's how the hose is meant to go. It just kind of hangs there like that and it hooks off that side and it flops about down here. Let's have a look at the exhaust filter. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take the hose off again. Let's have a look at this, let's see what we've got going on in here. Okay, got like a... Well, that's interesting. And I wasn't expecting that, guys, I must admit. That's that's a HEPA filter. Does it say... Let's have a look here. Does it say it's a HEPA? It doesn't, no. No. Above the floor cleaning, tools included, reclines flat. Blah, 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 tools, 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 lights, blah, you do your blinds. No, it doesn't say HEPA. I wonder if maybe, if I hold that up to the light, that may not be HEPA. That's maybe kind of like an S-class filter, actually. Yeah, that may be like an S-class. A little bit of dust in there. The, the filter itself <clears throat> actually looks really good. If I hold that up to you, look, you can see it's actually, it's not looking too bad at all. It's still pretty like, nice and white, actually. God, it's a definite downturn in quality. I've just got to be careful of this handle. That one really, really wants to come out and smack me in the head. Let's pop that back on. Okay. Okay. Let's get this hose back on. I've got a feeling I'm going to be fighting with this hose all the time. Put that back on there. Oh, it's a palaver, isn't it? Can I get that on there? Yeah. Um, I don't seem to have the crevice tool either. The crevice tool should be here down this side but it's not here it's missing which is a shame I mean it's not it's not the end of the world but uh, it would be nice to have it it's quite dusty yeah um mm, mm. I can't be too excited about it I, I didn't buy this to go into the collection this is by no means a c collectible vacuum cleaner <laughs> maybe one day it, it will be it's quite surprising what is you know the the real cheap rubbish that we had back in the, the 70s and 80s is really rare now i mean like unbelievably rare you think of the the band or the eca cleaners the ones which were like real super budget people go mad for those now because you just don't see them anymore this um, probably ain't gonna be a collectible, um, but you never know, you never know. Now, I've got some original bags here, these are original Pure Power bags, because uh, it did say in the listing that it needs a bag, so we can pop one in. I've got a Lifetime bag, because I've got a, a Hoover Lifetime, which I think you may have seen on the channel previously. So I could, technically, use this machine with a Lifetime bag in it, and it could be like a bagless cleaner. Well, not bagless, but you know, you know what I mean. Ooh, that's a bit... I wonder if someone's used it without a bag. I'm not sure. It's a bit. It needs a service in here. It's um. It's a bit mucky. It's a bit dirty. But let's pop this bag in. Proper genuine Hoover. Yeah. We don't do things by half. Yeah. 
Let's pop this in. Uh, it goes like that. And push on. And clip it in. Yeah, there we go. So that's the bag in. Yeah, it's, as you can see, it is quite dusty. I don't know if you can see the dust. Yeah, I think you can on the camera. So that's not brilliant. We do need to give it a service. Now, the big question is, does it run? And what does it sound like? Because I am, Joe, I'm just going to take this handle off because I'm convinced that's going to hit me on the head. And then I'll be sending, the, sending this video into You've Been Framed. Idiot gets hit by vacuum cleaner. Well, it's already bitten me, isn't it? So yeah, probably going to hit me as well. Um, I'm going to plug it in because I am really, really interested to see what this 350 watt motor's like. That, honestly, that's really one of the main reasons why I bought this. I've got a, a pure power, which is, it's either 1400 or 1600 watts. And that's pretty powerful. That, that is a pretty powerful cleaner. So for this to be 350, that is remarkable. It is such a low power cleaner, 350 watts. You think back in the day, I mean, God, it was the 70s when we had 350 watt cleaners. The Hoover Junior was, um, wasn't the Hoover Junior 350 watts? Was it 325 or 350? I think the later ones were 350. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? So this draws the same amount of current as a 1970s Hoover Junior. That's amazing. I would argue the fact that I suspect the Junior will clean your carpets better, but this will clean your stairs better with the hose. But anyway, that's an argument for another day. <clears throat> let's, let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh, wow. Wow, oh my God. That's so quiet. Yeah, that is unbelievably quiet, but it's also unbelievably terrible. <laughs> the <s> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I wonder what 350 watts gets you. Well, <laughs> It gets you almost exactly the same amount of suction and airflow as a Hoover Junior. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Yeah, I swear to God, that is that is just like a 350 watt single fan direct air Hoover Junior. Now I will admit that I'm not being particularly fair to this Enigma because <laughs> that filter is pretty stuffed up. Um, the exhaust filter isn't too bad. Let's just try. Let's try it again. Let's try it again without that filter in place. I'm not expecting there to be much difference. No. I can just, I can hear an air leak. I can hear an air leak and it, it's sort of coming from this area and I can't tell if it's been damaged or if the moulding is just so bad that that's what it should be like. It, it, it looks like that's how it was made because there's like there's two little ridges that stick out either side here. Um, now this, is, this bit is, it, is the motor cover. Oh god, this, this bit here is, is the, the 
motor cover. Now the, the suction fan's on, on this side of it and I can feel the air just leaking out here. There is no seal on that. Um, the, there's nothing. It's literally just two pieces of plastic um, which are meant to seal it up so you can um, get your suction and airflow. But it doesn't look like it's damaged because it looks exactly the same either side. I think it is just... I think it's just bloody awful, frankly. Let's uh, just quickly suck this filter off a second. There's not much point. That's, that's going to be slightly better. I, I don't think it's going to make any difference, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, God, that is just, that's unbelievable. That is, there's no... I mean, it's not even just like the fact that there's either no suction or no airflow. There's n neither, there's neither any suction or any airflow. It's just it's just not really doing anything. I tell you what that reminds me of. Um, apart from a Hoover Junior, it, it reminds me of one of those really old. 30s or 40s cylinder vacuum cleaners, one of those really old ones, like um, a, a, an old Electrolux, say, um, uh, a Model 48, there you go, uh, that that kind of springs to mind, but even that had more power than, than this, and it was uh, about the same, um, same kind of noise level too, oh, it's amazing, it's, it's kind of like we've gone backwards. This this is like this is an a perfect representation of how we've gone backwards. Because if you compare this to a twelve hundred watt pure power from nineteen ninety seven, the pure power is a much better cleaner, much much better. And I know there's these stupid e EU laws and EU regs that mean you've got to have uh, less than seven hundred watts, whatever nonsense it is now. But I think Hoover just have gone absolutely mental they, they've gone too far this is this is crazy you know 350 the new henry's have 620 watt motors i think it's 620 my my little henry 160 is uh, a 620 watt motor and he moves an unbelievable amount of air and he's got an unbelievable amount of, of suction it's like 12 of these the equivalent to henry now I suppose you could argue the fact that this doesn't need a huge amount of airflow, it doesn't need a huge amount of suction power because it's got the brush roll. And really the brush roll is the part of the cleaner that's doing the heavy lifting. It's that agitation, that scrubbing, that vibration which moves the dirt away from the carpet in into the airflow, what little airflow there is, which then whisks it away into the bag. Now that's fine I suppose for carpet cleaning but the expectation of these modern cleaners is the fact that they will do everything. They will clean your carpet, they'll clean your car, they'll do your stairs, your curtains, your chairs, your cat, your dog, your son, your wife. They will do everything. This will not. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still really, <laughs> that's really tickled me actually, that, that tiny little motor, that very little airflow or power that is really quite quite something um yeah <laughs> anyway so i'm not gonna take this away and like do an in-use video of it because i don't think there's much point because you you're gonna see it again soon because i've got as i say this plan for it i, I do I, I want to give this machine a fighting chance in the plan that i've got for it so i'm gonna have to give it a service uh, I'm going to have to clean the filters. I'll probably put a new belt on it. The brush roll's got like hair and stuff on it, so that, that needs to be cleaned off. Um, I think I'll give it a polish as well, see if I can get rid of these marks on the front. Um, yeah, we'll we'll give it a fighting chance. I, I think it's going to lose. I think it's going to lose the fight, but 
we will see. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed that video. I did. That was, that was quite something. Um, I'm quite looking forward to using it. I will say that. I'm l looking forward to using it properly uh, to see what it's like in everyday use. It's been a while since I've used a pure power, so it'd be nice to use this Evo version of, of the pure power, because they were always quite nice to use, actually. Um, especially the e electronic ones, but you could dial down the power a bit so they weren't quite so noisy. That was always Pure Power's problem. They were really quite noisy cleaners. Um, certainly the ones which hadn't been looked after. Uh, you know, they weren't, weren't too bad, I suppose. Perhaps I'm being tough on them. Perhaps I'm being a bit too harsh. Perhaps my memory of them is, is not as accurate as it could be. But we will see one very, 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 very soon. And we can compare them. So I'm going to call it there. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'm going to go off and clean this up and service it and have a really good laugh at it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to do the usual commenting, subscribing and liking because I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. So until the next video you take care and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys. Bye.